Hello and good morning. This is Traders Club 24. My name is Christian. Welcome to Tuesday, the um, 28th of March. And we are going to do our um, daily market opening trade here with the FTSE, the UK 100. So I'm on the M1 chart and we opened the, our trading day uh, with a slight up gap. And since um, the market has traded within a decent range of 8.7 points. Um, so you can see nicely um, the uh, yellow, um, yeah, the yellow field, which indicates the trading range of the first hour between 8 a.m. CET and the current time of 8.51 CET. So let me bring up the Swiss Box Helper, which is our semi-automatic tool for the order management. So first I'm going to click on this button and we are placing the green pending buy line on the top of that box and the red one the sell pending buy order on the very bottom of that box. So in total we are now uh, working with a range between the lines a distance of slightly less than nine points. Second, I'm going to enter my risk for risk percentage for the first position, which in this case I need to round it up a little bit, 0.12%. So, so we are going to make the first trade with six mini lots. And let me enter 0.11 here as well. So our take profit is the same range, um, again, 8.8.9 points. So the chance risk ratio is exactly one. So that's done. I'm going to activate my order by clicking here on this button and I'll be back in a couple of minutes with the actual market opening at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. and the market has opened. We are short in our first trade. Our pending order, sell pending order has been triggered. And the blue line now indicates our first take profit, which should close the gap, by the way, at a price level of uh, 7,306 points. So um, three minutes past nine and we are back in our trading range. Um, however, I want to stress out this this nice down move here. So it's become very popular among our club members not to trade like me with a setting 0 .11, 0 0.11 as a take profit, um, but to double the um, initial um, risk size of the first trade, which um, causes the fact that the blue line, the take profit line, is not the full distance of, um, of the trigger line uh, way, so in this case nine points, but only the half of it, so four and a half points. So um, for those who don't want to be in the trade, maybe an hour, two hours, um, but they are looking for a, for a much earlier exit, um, you can of course trade with 2010 or even 30, 15, which uh, on the other hand um, raises the risk. So it's possibly, it's possible uh, very likely that you cannot do a fifth, or sixth or seventh trade anymore. So here in this trading room and in this video, I tend to, to, to minimize the risk for you, but for all the self traders, um, yeah, we, we, we can see that um, they prefer the much riskier um, version to trade this Swiss box. So and just now there's new push down, um, new daily lows, and yeah, let's see whether we can um, trigger our take profit line the next couple moments. I'll be back um, then. So and nine minutes now, <laughs> sorry, nine minutes past nine, and it just happened. Our take profit got triggered and we are out of the trade, out of the first trade. Um, so 
already and again a very good decent and fast trade um, to start the trading day um, let me quickly because I forgot it yesterday let me quickly draw in the trade for you into the chart and here we go short we say goodbye and that's it um, I don't want to go too much into detail but there's also a function here on the Swiss box help that if you want to to let your profits run you just disable the box and you can manage your trades manually afterwards so there's no no real need to get out of the trade at the blue line if you feel confident if the price has broken any support and resistance if you feel all right there's a there's a strong movement to come over the next couple of minutes um, yeah why not just disable the box and let your profits run all right so that's it for me today um, thanks for watching and have a good week goodbye